Hello and welcome to HP Calcs. I'm Rick and today we're going to have a quick look at how to do statistics on the Casio FX 991 MS calculator. To do this we'll be using the mode key that looks like this and is located here. The shift key that looks like this and is located here in the top left corner. The M plus key that's located here. The comma key located here. The equals key looks like this and is equal and is down here. And the AC key, which is right here. Now the first thing we want to do when doing statistics on our calculator is put it into statistics mode. So to do that, we press the mode key twice till we get to this menu. And the option we want is number one, SD. So we press one. You can now see an SD in the top of the screen there. That lets us know we're in statistics mode and good to go. All right, now the next thing we wanna do is clear any old data in here that might pollute our calculations. To do that, we press shift, mode, and the option we want here is this SCL or stat clear. So we press one, it says stat clear there, we press equals, and any old data that was left in our stats has been cleared now. All right, so for this example, this will be our data set here. 20, 10, 10, and 60. To start entering data, you place the first piece of data on the screen. So for us, that's 20. And then press the M plus key. When we do that, you get this popping up. It says N equals one. That lets us know we have one piece of data in our data set. Next we have 10, but since we have two 10s there and we don't wanna enter it multiple times, what we can do is press shift comma, which places a semicolon on our screen there, and then press two. What this is saying is 10 into our data set twice. So if we had three 10s, that two would be a three. We then press M plus and we get N equals three because we have three objects in our data set. And we enter our final one, 60. 60, M plus, and there we go, N equals four. You can view all your data in the data set by the up and down arrows that you can scroll through. If you go down, you get X1 equals 20. So this is our first item in our data set. Scroll down again, it says frequency one is one. So the first item is in there once. Down again, x2 equals 10. Yeah, that's our second item. Is in there twice. x3, which is 60. Yep, is in there once. If we made a mistake or want to remove one of our pieces of data, let's say we didn't actually want 20 in there. That was a mistake. We scroll to it and then press the shift M plus key, which is M minus. And you see, as soon as we do that, we get N equals three, letting us know we only have three items in our data set, which we can see as X1 has now become the 10 and X2 has become the 60. But let's put that 20 back in just for the sake of our data set. M plus, there we go, N equals four. And when we have everything entered, we can press equals. All right, now we're ready to look at some statistics. So to get started, we press shift one, and that brings up this menu. If we take the first option, this gives us the sum of squares of our data set. So there we go, sum of squares equals 4,200. Yep. Again, shift one, if we choose the second option, this is our, the sum of our data set, which is 100. Makes sense. 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 60 equals 100. And if we go shift one again and choose the third number, the N, this is the size of our data set or number of values. There's our four, which we knew already. All right, if we go shift two, 
That's our other set of statistics. Our first is the mean. So if we choose number one and press equals, that gives us a mean of our data set of 25. Our next statistic, if we press shift two, is small sigma x or population standard deviation. So if we select that equals, we get a population standard deviation for our data set of 20.6155, etc. And we can also get the variance of this data set by squaring that and getting a population variance of 425. And we can get the next piece of data, shift to three, which is our sample standard deviation. Three equals a sample standard deviation of 23.80476, etc. And again, we can get our sample variance by squaring this number and getting a sample variance of 566.6666, etc. Once we're done doing all our statistical calculations, it's a good idea to clear our data set, pressing Shift Mode 1. Once we're sure we don't need this data set anymore, press equals. And then when we're ready to go back to our normal calculations, we press mode and one, which is our normal computations mode. You can see the SD has disappeared from the top of our screen and we're ready to return to normal calculations. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests out there.